Hello, my name is Allie Peck and I'm an Equine Studies Industry Management major at UNH. And I live in St. Johnsbury, Vermont. So today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about warming up for exercise. After that I will then perform an example of a simple warm-up routine that can be performed right in your home or even at the barn before you ride. So in general, a warm-up is described as preparing the body for physical activity. There are many different ways that you can get your body warmed up and ready for exercise. Some of the benefits of a proper warm-up include getting the blood flowing to muscle tissues, increasing the tissue temperature of your muscles, and it also prepares and signals to your mind that you're about to partake in physical activity. So the purpose of increasing our muscle and body core temperature is to prevent injury during exercise. And additionally, when our muscles are warm, it takes them less time to contract and that makes them more efficient. So for the purpose of this video, we're getting our bodies warmed up to partake in conditioning for ride or fitness, or maybe we're even warming up to actually go ride. So in our warm-up, we want to increase our heart rate and respiratory rate, which is going to get our blood moving and our bodies literally warmer. In general, a low to moderate warm-up can be completed in 5 to 10 minutes. And since the warm-up is preparing us for our workout or for our ride, you know, we're not trying to get our bodies tired out. We're just taking 5 to 10 minutes or so to get our bodies warmed up and our muscles warmed up. So, you know, I myself sometimes like to go for a 5-10 minute jog as my warm-up, but sometimes we aren't able to go outside and sometimes we just really don't like running and that is also totally fine. Um, and, you know, also, if I'm at the barn and getting ready to get on a horse, I'm probably not going to go for a run down the road in my riding boots. So... Now I'm going to demonstrate a few warm-up exercises that can be used for a 5-10 to 10 minute warm-up either in your home, outside, or even at the barn. Okay, so now I'm going to give you an example of some exercises that you could include in your 5-10 to 10 minute warm-up. So I'm going to go through four different exercises right in a row. I'm going to do each of them for 30 seconds. The first exercise is going to be ropeless hops, which is basically like jump roping, but without a jump rope. If you have a jump rope, feel free to use it. Following ropeless hops, I'm going to go right into jumping jacks, then after jumping jacks, I'm going to go into high knees, and after high knees, I'm going to go into butt kicks. Alright, so I got my watch right here. I'm going to use this to help time myself. Alright, so those are just some examples of some exercises you can incorporate into your warm-up. We did 30 seconds of each exercise, and I only went through one round, so that was about two minutes. So if you're going for a 5-10 to 10 minute warm-up, you might just repeat that circuit over and over again, or maybe you just pick one exercise and you want to do that on and off, like maybe you want to jump rope on and off for five minutes. It's really whatever works for you, whatever's going to get you know your respiratory rate up, like mine is right now your heart rate up and just get you moving and warmed up for exercises so I hope you enjoyed the video and continue on for the rest of your workout and have fun 
guys, my name is Emma Oleva and I'm coming to you from my house in Stamford, Connecticut. I'm an equine studies major with a focus in industry and management. The reason why I'm here talking to you guys right now is to discuss the importance of stretching before you get on a horse. I'm going to show you some really great exercises that I think you should do before riding and I hope you guys follow along with me. This first exercise is very simple. You just want to roll your neck to the right three times and then to the left three times. This will help loosen up your neck muscles and it will help with any stiffness. Shoulder rolls going forwards and backwards help us open up our chests when riding. You want to do three forwards and three backwards. Another great way to open up our chest is by doing side arm stretches. You want to hold your arm for 10 seconds on each side. After this, you want to take your arm behind your back as if you're scratching between your shoulder blades. Then take the arm as free and hold the other arm with it. Hold it for 10 seconds. Do the same thing on the other side, making sure that your hand is resting between your shoulder blades. Great job guys, let's continue. Now I want you guys to stand with your legs shoulder width apart and twist your torso with your arms out and bent. Do this for 10 seconds. This exercise helps improve your torso's range of motion. If you want to get a deeper stretch, what you should do is as you're turning, bring your leg in towards your chest. For example, if you're turning to the left, you want to bring your left leg in. Now I want you guys to stand with your feet together and with your feet flat on the ground, reach up as high as you can and hold it for 10 seconds. This helps stretch out your back and arms. Then reach all the way down and try to touch your toes. You wanna to hold this position for 15 seconds and make sure your legs are locked. This helps stretch out your lower back as well as your hamstrings. This is what it looks like from a side view. Remember, you want to keep your legs locked like this. You don't want to have them bent like this. Now, on an area with a rug or a yoga mat, I want you to sit down with your legs in front of you and you're back in an upright position. Practice pointing and flexing your feet to help stretch your ankles and feet out. You should hold your feet in this position for a few seconds so that you really feel the stretch. By doing these exercises, you can stretch deeper into your stirrups when riding. Then, with your feet in a flexed position, reach up to the sky and then reach down and try to touch your toes. Hold this position for 15 seconds. You should feel this stretch in your hamstrings. Now shake out your legs. I want you guys to move your legs out in a comfortable straddle position, like so. We will be stretching the sides of our torso as well as our hamstrings. Start with leaning towards the left leg. If you can, grab your foot and hold this position for 15 seconds. You should feel this stretch on the right side of your back. Now come back up and move to your right leg doing the same thing. You should feel the stretch on your left side of your back. Hold this for 15 seconds. Awesome. Now we're going to stretch down in front of us really feeling the stretch in our lower back as well as our hamstrings. What I like to do is try and grab my feet and push myself down from there. If you feel that these exercises get too intense, 
please feel free to ease up on your stretching or take a break. Now you can come up and finally shake out those legs. Great job guys, on to our last stretch. In this last exercise, you wanna put the balls of your feet onto the higher level of ground you have access to. Grab onto a banister or wall for balance. Once you have figured out your positioning, bring your legs together and stretch deep down into your heels. Make sure your legs are straight and locked. Hold this for 15 seconds. Now, bring your legs out about shoulder width apart and bend your legs as if you're sitting in the saddle. Scoot your feet back out and stretch down into your heels. Hold this position for about 15 seconds. If you want to take this a step further, lean from side to side as if you're pedaling on a bike. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Equine Educational Week and stretching with me. I hope you had fun. Now, it's time to move on to some strength with Jess.